Former NFL player Michael Orr, the inspiration behind the 2009 hit movie The Blind Side, Blind Side is claiming that his adoption, a central element of the Oscar-winning film, is a lie. In a Tennessee court filing, Orr accuses Sean and Lee Ann Tui, that's the couple that took him into their home, of deceiving him into signing papers he thought were the adoption process, but we're actually for a conservatorship. Here to discuss this are ABC News contributors Mike News and Brian Buckmeyer. Welcome, Good to guys. See you guys. Thank you, okay, Greg. so first let's talk about what Orr is claiming. He's claiming that the conservatorship um, that he didn't know, he claims that it allowed the Tui Street millions of dollars uh, from his story while he got nothing. So, Brian, let's start with you. What is the difference here between a conservatorship? and an adoption. So an adoption is when one person becomes the legal guardian for another person. I say person because you can adopt an adult and a child, right? And then you take on the duties as a, as a parent to that person, uh, certain responsibilities and, and also uh, certain benefits that come from it. A conservatorship is when you take away the decision-making powers of a person, typically because they don't have the capacity to make them. And often those are either health or financial um, decisions. Think Britney Spears or if your elderly family member becomes ill and can't make medical decisions for themselves. Well, Mike, there are two sides to every story. Uh, the Tui family did release a statement, and I want to go through it. Uh, through their attorney, have called the allegations in the lawsuit ludicrous and say they have always been upfront about how a conservatorship uh, from which not one penny was received was established to assist with Mr. Orr's needs, uh, ranging from getting him health insurance and obtaining a driver's license to help him with college admissions. Uh, the statement also claims that they have documents showing payments ultimately received uh, from the film were shared evenly with our or rather and that or tried to extort the family for 15 million dollars and that they would not oppose ending the conservative ship if that's what or rather wants what do you make of that response there's a lot to unpack in that statement altogether uh, one the idea they will allow this man out of his conservatorship uh, as a grown functioning adult. Uh, so I take issue with that statement. Uh, I think because of this lawsuit, we're going to be able to do a forensic accounting to determine exactly what funds were given. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm also curious about the statement that the, fam the Tweed family has made previously about needing to do the conservatorship in order for him to go to Old Miss because the family is an alum of Old Miss. I would like to ask more questions about that. I would also like to ask more questions about uh, what Orr is suggesting that a few months after turning 18, the conservative ship was then offered uh, to Orr. So I would ask questions about that. I would also ask questions too where the family said they never wanted to make a profit off of the story, but yet a book was done, and then yet a movie was done off of the book about him. Um, and so what we're seeing as Orr is fighting for that. Something that struck me was that he said that because of the conservative ship, he felt like the league never looked at him as being smart, mm. as if he was incapacitated mentally to which Brian was talking about and we all know in athletics there's a terminology athletic IQ uh, and then the biases that exist in that statement of athletic IQs and particularly when it comes to black athletes and so that was something that struck to me in the statements uh, that or did there is so much to unpack here and it, it seems so messy for two sides that seemed like they really cared about each other at least at one point um, in response to the Tui family claims Michael Orr's attorney then released a statement saying we try cases in the courtroom based on the facts we have confidence in our judicial system and in our client Michael Orr we believe that justice will be served in the courtroom and we hope to get there quickly so the suit actually allowed alleges that Orr was falsely advised by the Tuies on the paperwork, that he really thought he was signing adoption papers and he actually was signing this conservatorship. How hard will this be for him to prove in court, for his side to prove? Well, it's literally going to be, a, I guess, a he and she says against what he said. But there's also another argument within the paperwork that I found is interesting. They're saying not only was he duped, or it, the legal term would be fraud by inducement, which is an actual crime, but actually the way that it's written doesn't make sense. Because if you are the conservator of Michael Orr, you're supposed to be making decisions that benefit his interests. But the way the contract is written, it is so one-sided that a contract could almost not actually be in effect. It doesn't make sense for me to say, uh, DeMarco, you know what, you and I, we're going to have a business, and you know what, we're going to use your face and your celebrity, but I'm going to make 100% of the money, and you sign off on it. It doesn't make sense. And so that argument, that secondary argument, I think helps out as well, even if it just becomes a he said, she said. And Mike, this uh, lawsuit stems from paperwork that was signed, what, nearly 20 years ago. Why is it happening now? 
That's the shocking part about this. It's so stunning that Orr didn't realize it until recently. He's saying he didn't realize until February of this year that he was had a conservatorship. It was an adoption. And for me, that he is still in it. There's a there there. All right, ABC News contributor Mike Muse and Brian Buckmeyer. Good to see you both, brothers. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.